Okay, today's workout was done on a stationary bike for an hour. And I can feel it even more on in my legs, but I feel okay. Alright. It was enough to give me a workout. Um I have to say I yeah, my thoughts while I was riding the bike. I listened to the podcast, and my takeaway from that was to to do your best, and you can get better the next time, whatever you decide to do. And uh, what was the other thing I was talking, thinking about? Oh yeah, um, getting a. Uh, cycles per second for on the bike because there's no way with a stationary bike to know uh how far how with mine how how far I'm going with this bike there may be some that can tell you how far but the only the only thing that is a a factor on it is there are cycles per second and I can have cycles per second on a on a bike that's outside. I can have a cycle per second on bikes that are inside. So that that was my thought when I was writing it. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to take a picture of it. So miles per hour don't count on this. Distance don't count on it. Because there's no way to measure that in indoors, but I do have a heart rate, I the heart rate, and also uh, the fact that I did it for an hour. Those things. So I'm using the same bike, and in order to uh, mimic the hills, I tense it up a bit on the stationary bike or that I have to simulate hills and then to make it so that it's not tense at all would be like going down a hill and then in between for you know to move those things while you're riding a stationary bike so you get kind of the idea what it's like to be outside um, Outside is different, grant you, but if you don't feel like going outside, a stationary bike is something. And, uh, you know, and that's, I do that. And it, it worked, it worked. I, I, I did, i done this before, and I did a triathlon uh, doing that, but I also went outside it times too so either way that's how I've that's how I trained before so uh, that's what I got to say today so I hope this helps that's all I got to say